Hollander Quay at Rosharty, where in olden times Dutch herring boats landed their catch for curing during the height of the Murray Firth herring fishing season. Then Dutch tall ships called for their cured catch and swept the herring bulk over the sea to Holland. Rosharty, once a herring boom town, dropped heavily overnight in the disastrous crash of 1884. Much evidence remains of its boom years. This was once a curing station. The dwelling houses were the salt cellars and cooperages. Another of James E. Ritchie's curing stations, which is now the Bonacord Mineral Waters Depot at Rosharty. James E. Ritchie's coopers display examples of their cure as they prepare for export last century. Here are a few German and Dutch buyers standing by their recently purchased catch at Hollander Quay. It is hard to believe this town's desolate and empty harbors, curing stations and boatyards, once saw the hustle and bustle of the herring fishing. But the evidence still remains that at least 130 herring drifters once harbored here is a fact. Alas, Rosharty is a typical example of an old fishing town which once supported an extremely healthy working population, totally sufficient in the fishing and especially the herring fishing. With its overnight collapse in 1884, the town grinded to a halt and became virtually a ghost town. Many attempts to stabilize the situation failed. It never did recover. Its empty harbor basins abandoned by sail drifters decades before now bear witness to this fact with decaying evidence on the once busy poor tree. Its serene 14 acre expanse, once sought after in storm for shelter, lies unruffled but alone. However, it could tell the tale of harvests of herring. Harvest o' oh, herring, keep calling me. Harvest o' oh, herring from on the sea. Sailing boats come and sailing boats go. Loaded with silver herring, oh. My memories run long and oh so dear. Ilk a place name was music to hear From Stornoway Island, Barra and Wick All of all open Shetland, Malik Harvest O'Herrin, keep calling me Harvest O'Herrin, from out the sea Sailing boats come and sailing boats go, loaded with silver herring oh. Shift my clothes three times in a day. We work it for six in the morning until nine at night. Well, if it was a day of rain, you see, we were up at five and left for lodgings at half four, half past five, and started at six o'clock. Back again. Work, home for our dinner, back again, home for our supper, and then do it to work till nine at night. That was the, the road, you see. Saturday now, the hearing was there, you see, we had to work till it was finished. Uh, there was no stopping and leaving, because, you see, it was imperative that that hearing was cured as quick as possible, and it needed and rain water.
this is here to be out of Parliament. <laughs> and I, I said, well, I said, but we'll make it say too much. <laughs> so they carried on for near a hill week. The, uh, the strikes carried on, and I said, oh, well, I said this for them. I'll get here, my sister, and get us in the country before I say this for them. Mm -hmm. You see? So, it is the matter, and they sit on the next. Stay much to Peter Reed, and say much to the broken or hearty, for 30 shillings. I said, I said, it was sunk down to the boat. So, you see, some of the skippers were found, the crew was all the crew was found. Please stay with me, Kayleigh. Mm -hmm. You see, their wives were all working. Is that right? I hope it's the strike, I get into the road of room, you come back, and oh, you'll, you'll get the other, you'll get the other sixpence. We didn't see get sixpence, we only see threepence, you see. <laughs> but we were the sixpence. Mm -hmm. So at twelve o'clock, uh, we were established in Haven. I said, now we'll hit a bank for Haven till Saturday. Mm -hmm. Oh, but twelve o'clock at night, we were landlady hit the resort to our bed, and was sexy in that way, Sexy here, where? She says, that's your meal, both sick in your Mary. She had my Mary, you see. Mm -hmm. And uh, he says, a strike suit. He says, you'll get it what you're asking for. He says, you'll be out to your work, he says, in the morning. I says, yes. Well, he says, I'll have a potato, he says. So he says, back at breakfast time. So when he said, well, we left the parlance, we left half our hair in the hands. Aye. And half our thing, we did again for it, we had nothing to think about it. In the morning, I don't know if you get a water yard with, he could have a ton to get. But the day you could, you could your first, you could your first wages, you took the, the cure and back up a ticket, that half ticket. Clear says, that says we've been tramping on far too long, and when I'm negative, we're tramping on no longer. Girls, come on out. We'll get, uh, we'll want to have a and over. We're not going to stand here in the frosty mornings for six pence over. We'll get a throp and come on, girls. I hear her shouting. Uh, now, like Leo says, the says we've been tramping on far too long, and when I'm negative, we're tramping on no longer. Ah, but I says, time just get in. I says, I'm not going to be soft no longer. I was in Clyde Bank for four years, and I could, for the twist, to, to be having the rough ends in Arcade. Mm -hmm. But then we was out working. And you have to live in what life. So the time was good better, and the uh, card and the way is we is we is we good to better than they were. We just said we wouldn't go any after them, you see. Mm -hmm. See, I, I was supposed to be the cousin. Uh, so we broke the card and broke the card our life. So we're good to better the cure us. Don't be fat. 
Christina, don't to the fallen come great shine or mean. Harvest o heron, keep calling me. Harvest o heron from out the sea. Sailing boats come and sailing boats go. Lord, if a silver heron, oh, valuable gems. We'd always been told were rubies, diamonds, emeralds, and gold. But for us fishers, all riches to be were shores of heron from out the sea. Harvest or heron, keep calling me. Harvest or heron from out the sea. Sailing boats come and sailing boats go. Lord, it was silver hair in She strolled the braes nearby the sea, beyond Rose Hearty, two miles or three, dressed in black, fair heat to heel, carrying a cross while kirk bells did peal. Out to sea she set her gaze, where her good folk of a watery grave, never found nor ever were traced, all alone now this she faced. A barrel of salt herring for her winter, prepared by her led husband and his sister. The summer months will keep her well, though next winter storms she may fell. None will know, nor ever will they feel, the heart or loss on a massive scale. Three sons and husband all went to sea, mourning her broken, nature had set them free. All alone from morning to night, three stars by the moon were in sight. She cast her eyes to them in sorrow, with hopes of joining them tomorrow. Nowhere to mourn, no headstone to see, no swords upturned, no flowers breathing free. No mourners in sight, except only she, only the ocean, and all lost at sea. She strolled the braes nearby the sea, beyond was hearty two miles or three, dressed in black, fair head to heel, 